Hello everybody. In this section, I will show you how to plot two y-axis on the same figure. And we start with a clean, clean, clean background, and also a clear figure. Generate the x variable. Generate the first y variable, which is a some some decay function, and. Uh, the second y variable, and then we plot the function y1 against x and y2 against the same x on the same figure with different y axis with this command plot yy. And you see um, it's pretty much okay at this strip. The, the MATLAB is smart enough to set up proper colors and the styles for us. You see the, the color of the y axis equals is blue is the same with the first line and green with this axis and uh, you say uh, I will receive the returning values from this plot function plot y function into these three variables and uh, these three variables became three three uh, actually it's four handles for this figure. The first x ax is actually two handles. First one is for uh, axis one and secondly for axis two. Mm. For this figure you basically what you say is two set two sets two sets of axes superimposed together. And so ax corresponding to these two um, handles and uh, h1 is the first line have this handle and h2 is the handle for the second line and with these handles we can change the properties um, in more details detailed ways for example we can change the we can set up the the label of the first y-axis and also the label of the second y-axis I will explain this grammar later uh, why go through the some e simpler one later in below and also we can change the x limit of the first x axis we change it from the from 0 to 40 to um, minus 2 to 30 but you say only one set only one set of the superimposed um, two axis is changed so the labels on the x axis is disordered. The, to solve this, you set up, you change the second set to the same range. Second set uh, of x axis. And um, here I want to show you uh, the properties about this, uh, the first axis. You say I use get and uh, the handle of the first axis, and uh, in the command window you will see the all the properties you can change for this this first set of axis. And you notice that we have a uh, x limit, which we just set previously, um, is here, and it has a value we have just uh, specified, and also. You can have a Y label. Let's find the Y label. Mm -hmm. Here, it's a uh, some number, but we don't see this number on the plot, right? So it turned out to be this number is a handle, because Y label is kind of a complicated uh, object. So it still have some other d detailed properties, which you can set up. So Y label is actually a child handle within the axis handle. That's the reason um, when you set up Y labels, you need to use uh, you do not uh, directly use Y label and then specify the value. Instead, you get a handle of Y label, then specify each of the properties you want to change. Let's see how many properties you can change uh, for Y label. So we have here 
we get the variable for the first axis, then we get a handle of it. Now you see, for Y label, you have the uh, age color, font name, font size, or whatever, and uh, you have the string, which is the uh, text displayed here as Y label. So that's the reason we first get the handle of the Y label from the first axis, then we specify the properties of this Y label, string slow de decay. And uh, if it's not still still not clear, you can compare these two here, set X limit and Y label. The X limit is directly under the label of axis one, but the Y label is uh, another label under axis one. All right. Uh, this, uh, you can use this way to set up the X label too, but there will be a simpler way. You directly use X label function, um, which set up the label for the first X axis. Because the figures are superimposed, um, it's also the, it looks the same as if you set up both X axis. Time and title. And uh, here, because we have the handle, we have the convenience to change all the properties we want. For example, we want to change the first line, the color and the width. Second line, color and width. And then we want to match the color on the y-axis to the color of the line. We set the color of the first axis, blue. The color of the second axis, white. And it's only just white color. We don't change. We don't touch the x-axis, so it's always black. Mm -hmm. Then finally, we save the picture as as a pre, as a size we we seen on this MATLAB window. All right, let's conclude this section.